is Celtic Turnip here um, with another video and this one is going to be kind of a weird one one that I haven't really done before um, uh, most of you guys don't know that um, in a certain single player world I build a server not a server but just a world and I want to show you guys my world so far so yes I do have a massive statue of uh, Honeydew and I love it. So first you come into the port and there's two big towers with the flag and the colors. Here's my little port or my dock, whatever you want to call it, and my big wall. And then here is the entrance pretty much. So there's a little cafe with the uh, guys in there. That's just a plaque. Um, big massive tree I planted pretty much when the first w the world was first created, so that's been there like pretty much forever. Um, you got a carriage, a market stall, and the town like entry with a tower on it. Oh, that shouldn't be there. And then you come up here, and then you're in the town square. That's a little hotel thing I made. I'll show you the inside. And most of these houses aren't really furnished, but this one is. See, there's lots of rooms in here. Four in the top. And there's nothing really in them, but I don't really need anything. And here's like that town hall, if you want to call it that. Um, here's just some chests, bed, fireplace. Um, Stage, if you want to say, microphone, bunch of gold blocks. I don't even know what those are doing there, but I put them there. Um, what else do I have? Uh, town fountain. Doesn't really do anything, but I think it looks pretty, pretty nice. Um, this is a little house I made. Um, really early in the, in the world, and sandstone. Pretty, pretty basic. Actually, this probably one of my more complex buildings but it's not that nice I did mess up on the dimensions but I, th I like the uh, concept of it and uh, here I have a little house for like a peasant or something just normal kitchen some pictures upstairs here's a little the little fellow over here two bedroom now down the ladder um, oh yeah, and this is Tekkit, so I do have all the Tekkit things, including mo creatures, so that's why there's a horse right there, and a goat, and this is another one of my houses, um, this is pretty new, this is one of the newer buildings I've made, sandstone ground, oh, darn it, um, let me just replace that real quick, this is the same one as over there, but it doesn't have furniture in. See? Same one as I just showed you. Come on, go down. Alright. So this is one of the newer houses. Um, this is like a little storage area. Um, I just use all the different types of um, sizes of wood to make like a little wood pile of wood storage. Now I have wheat storage. This is sand, but it's supposed to be wheat. And upstairs, I have melon storage. Yes, lots of melons, just for fun. And down here, we have a early house that I made real early in the uh, in the world. And I like this house. This is one of my more favorite houses, just random stuff. And there are chests kind of scattered around, because when I first started building this, probably 65% of this world is all survival so that means I had to go out and get all the wood and uh, as you can see this takes a lot of wood and I had to go go out get the wood and build it but once I discovered how to in install mods which was after I did about 60% of this current world I started just building it off too many items and that's a lot easier but I still like the, the aspect that I built it mostly in survival. I think that's a pretty good accomplishment. 
And then you go down here, and all these lights are new, for like brand new. This is one of the newest features. And here I have a little dwarven mine. It's it's supposed to be like short because you're obviously a dwarf. But you get in with normal people. You go in here, and that should be dirt. Let me just fix that up. And then you come in here, and obviously you're if you're a dwarf, you're short. So this would be like one block high if you're a dwarf. And then you come down here, and a mine goes all the way down there. All right, let's get out of this place. Now we just break through the wall. And this is this is pretty much the start. This is a brand new house, not a brand new, but um, I've never built a house like this because it's on a hill, and I didn't really know how to build it. So if you guys think it's pretty ugly, I do too. I just don't want to rebuild a house there. But here's a little garage, um, normal house, and then up here we have bedroom, and down into another bedroom. And yes, I know this house is really ugly. I tried my best. <laughs> Alright, and we go up here. And we have... Oh yeah, and I should probably mention, all the stuff over there, that's on flat ground, but I had to put dirt all over here. So this, this dirt here, all the way down there, was the first time, or first feature I built when creating this world. I hadn't had any houses here, I just chose, I was like... I'm gonna make it here. I'm gonna make it flat. So I got all the dirt. Remember, this is in survival, and I made a huge dirt covering. And this is the blacksmith, little mouse there, and furnaces, obviously iron. This is just gonna be a little table, um, fire, and oh yeah. So when I say too many items and survival. Um, how I built about 60% of this. I also didn't have tech it for 65% of this or any other mods. And this is the wheat field. So this was probably the longest project I have. Um, obviously animals have been stomping around and I've had to regrow it. But on survival, I had to go out and get every single one of these wheat. That takes a long time. If, ever, if anyone's ever tried to make a wheat field, Try making one this big in survival, it's really hard. And then just walk up this little path into my windmill. And I really like this windmill. But it did get it did burn down. And yeah, I haven't restored it. In fact I haven't even been down this area for a while. But that's a mine down there. Yeah, and that's just a little experiment I had. And we go up here, and we just have the, yes, that cobblestone is supposed to be there. It's just supposed to, like, replicate a broken ground, kind of worn down. Then you come up here, and then, well, this cobblestone isn't supposed to be here. Um, that's probably when I was building the roof. But pretty basic, just window out here. I haven't built anything out there, by the way. This is pretty much the edge. Over there, there's nothing. Over there, there's nothing. It's all that way. So let me just get back down here. Alright. And this was a horse stable at one point. For breeding. But um, yeah. It's not anymore. Oh, and these diamond blocks are for me to know where I'm going to build my wall. And I'll show you my wall later. But I just put diamond blocks down just to mark a path. So... Off, the, off from the town hall and this house, there's a little path down here. Let me just walk it. Another lamp. Some gravel, stone, just to show like wear and tear. There's a little dock over here, a little fishing dock. Nothing nothing big, just figured I'd put it in there. And then this, another thing. Um, this is a dock. This I just built. Um, well, before those houses over there, but this is pretty new. And I built this one. This is probably one of the first things I built also. Um, that's supposed to be a little boat. I'm not sure how else I'm supposed to make it like canoe. This was my attempt. 
So there's a little dock supports, and this is a loading bay for wood and cargo. So a dock, a boat would come in here, and this crane would bring it in, and we put it in there. Obviously, it doesn't work, but that's what it's supposed to look like. And I'll bring it over here. That's the weird house. And the back of the wall isn't that isn't very pretty, but I think the front is. Little balusters up there, and I built the wall all the way up to this tower. I really like this tower. This is probably my favorite design out of all my towers. Little beacon up here. Ooh. And to get in, you have to actually go into into here to get into the, that tower. I believe you do. Yeah, just go up here, and you go up. There isn't anything up there, I just built the uh, exterior, but it is very nice outside, and that's all that matters. And how do I get out? No, that's not how. Okay, no shorts. No shortcuts. Let me just dash that up. And this was all dirt, so I just carved this out to put a uh, foundation in, and this is my massive honeydew. And I'll bring you up. And this this was also all in survival, so this did take quite a while. Now I see there is orange wool. I don't know what happened to this. I think once I installed too many items, some things like got corrupt and just over duplicated. But I'm gonna show you my wall. And this is this is the last thing I built on the server before I made this video. And this is also currently what I'm working on. So it's Pretty detailed, I really like the design. It comes off the big towers, the beacons, and it goes all the way through here. And it takes a while to build each one of these little segments. And it goes all the way down here. It takes a turn right here. So this is like the edge of my kingdom. And it comes to these towers. These towers are the same as the towers over there that it connects to. And it takes a turn. And I figured there's a water right here. I don't want to build just a wall over. So I made another one here and a bridge. This does kind of look funny, but I think it looks pretty pretty intimidating when you're on the water. That's just my preference. And then you come out here. And then you're at the very top of this tower over here. Obviously, you can't just jump down, but I'm going to anyway because I'm on creative. And... This, I haven't built a roof, but I've built the base of the wall, and this is where I've stopped, and I'm going to build over here and around. So that's all I've gotten so far, and I've had this this world for about a year now, and I don't play on it much, but whenever I, I feel the urge, I just build something here, and I think it looks really pretty. Something wrong, wrong with the trees, but whatever. And I don't think I've shown you my watermill yet. Water mill down here, just that's the town hall over there, and then you walk over here, over into the front, and then you go down here, step down into the big iron pole that holds up the water mill. This is the grinder, and it grinds up the corn into wheat, and then you put it over here, corn meal, and then yeah, corn meal, sorry, and then you put the corn in there, it grinds it up into corn meal, and then you just place it here. Whoop. And then I'll show the outside. So it's like a cobblestone base, and this cobblestone stack holds up the other side of this. And that's the actual water mill. And this this river doesn't go anywhere. I it's just for looks. And yeah, that's about it. I well, I did have a boat there, but um, when I had the Zeppelin mod, I created a boat, and it sailed away. And I never saw it again. So now I just have this big pool of water. But yeah, my massive sugar cane thing. But yeah, um, this is all. That's my whole kingdom. And I hope you like it. Please um, like, favorite, and subscribe. This really took a long time. And I'd really appreciate it if someone could give me some feedback. Well, anyway, I'm the Celtic Turnip. I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Hey guys, Celtic Turn up here, and I'm just gonna attach this to my other video. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that these buildings aren't all my design. Um, I've taken massive uh, details from uh, another YouTube YouTuber. His name is Madness64. Go check it out his channel. He builds incredible stuff. I probably my favorite Minecraft builder on YouTube. Most of these things has, have taken, if not direct details, but details from his buildings. And his, um, Cargrith, I think it's called. He built a server named Cargrith, I believe. And it is insane. Like, you guys have to check this out. That's actually what made me want to build my own kingdom. So go check it out. I'll put his link in my, uh, put the link to his channel in the description, and I just don't want you guys thinking these are all my ideas. Alright guys, that's it. I'll see you guys later.